Dr. Cox, I'm not crazy. Am I still singing? Singing like a bird. Dr. Cox, huge news. I pulled some strings and got the parking spot right behind yours. Bumper buddies. Still, you're not nearly as bad as her. Do you know how much you annoy me? The answer is a lot. Should I list the reasons why? Well, I don't see why not. It's your hair, your nose, your chinless face. You always need a hug. Not to mention all the manly apple teenies that you chug. That you think I am your mentor just continues to perplex. And oh my God, stop telling me when you have nerdy sex. Oh, by the way, last time Kim was in town, we got some apple teenies and poured them on our good parts. See now, newbie, that's the thing you do that drives me up a tree. Cause no matter how I rant at you, you never let me be. So I'm stuck with all your daydreaming, your wish to be my son. It makes me suicidal and I'm not the only one. No, I'm not the only one. It all started with a penny in the door There was a hatred I had never felt before So now I'll make him pay Each and every day Until that moose-haired little nuisance is No So now that is why I call you names like Carol, Jane, and Sue, like Moesha, Kim, and Lily, and Suzanne, and Betty Lou. See, regardless of the names I pick, my feelings are quite clear. You're a pain in every day of every month of every year. Dr. Cox, you gotta help me, cause I really am distressed. Can't you find another option? Won't you run another test? If you want some kind of favor, really any kind of favor, please just get me peace and quiet from this godforsaken past. I think what my bumper buddy is trying to say... Shut your cake hole, Mary Beth, or I swear to God... Congratulations. We'll schedule your test this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>